day on MLB Daily Recap, Fernando Tatis barely missing the tag on the pickoff attempt at first. Miguel Cabrera hits the first home run of the MLB season in the snow. And Cody Bellinger's home run single? This was a weird one and kind of funny because everyone was a bit confused. But anyway, MLB Daily Recap starts right now. What is up, everybody? Bigfoot CLE MLB Daily Recaps are back again. We are going to start this off daily. They are going to upload two hours before the first pitch of this today's game. So today's first game is Red Sox Orioles starts at 2, so this will upload at 12 p.m. April 2nd. So that's just how I'm going to do it every single day. Hopefully, I might miss a couple days here and there, but I'll try to get it as much as I can. So I'm just going to recap a couple highlights and just get it going because it was a great day, a weird day, crazy things happened. Cody Bellinger, as you saw in the intro, he had a home run single. Kind of crazy. We're going to get to that later in the video. But first, let's start off with Fernando Tatis avoiding this tag. Throw to first, and Tatis will be safe. He got back. He was caught in no man's land at first base, but somehow gets back to the bag at first. Shuffle. He wanted to go. Snap throw. Oh, he got his right hand out of the way, and then the left hand. Oh, look at how close. Ooh. Does he get him on the jersey, though? To the swim move right there. Yeah, he did. The Padres won that game 8-7. to seven. Now let's get to Miguel Cabrera hitting his 350th home run as a Detroit Tiger. He's been there a long time now. It is, first op it is his first opening day home run since 2008, which was his first season as a Detroit Tiger. So maybe he can get back to that nice MVP triple crown winner we know of Miguel Cabrera. Uh, it was in the snow. He did not know it was a home run. He couldn't see. He slid into the second, and the umpire to tell him, oh, yeah, it, it's a home run. So really funny. This helped the Tigers win and beat my Indians 3-2. to two. It grows longer. <laughs> that is a snow was that, again. Was that a Pinocchio? Look one, at that. one, sky to Here right. Deep and gone! Oh! Miguel Cabrera's 350th is a Tiger. He, he thought second. it was a double. How about that? That's awesome. On opening day Look in at the, the confetti. filled stadium. The confetti. Oh, my gosh. The outfielder couldn't. Mickey couldn't see it. He slid into second. We've got a whiteout. Who says he doesn't like the cold? We've all been waiting for the Cody Bellinger home run single. Cody Bellinger had a nice swing on the ball. Rymel Tapia, outfielder for the Rockies, went. He had it in his mitt, but it just bounced right out over the wall, so it was a home run. Now, Justin Turner, who was on first base, saw only him get the ball in the in his mitt. So he said, oh, no, he caught it. So scrambled back to first. And Cody Bellinger was running past first because that's what any baseball player would do. And they crossed paths. And you can't do that or it's an out. So Cody Bellinger was called out, but Justin Turner was called a run because he would have scored. So <laughs> it is very confusing. It didn't help the Dodgers, though. That run didn't help the Dodgers. They still lost 8-5. to five. So to the Rockies. So, I mean, crazy play, rarely happens, funny to watch and see everyone's reactions. Bellinger hits a high fly ball, left center field, back towards the wall. It is gone! Just over the wall, a two-run home run. Tapia might have gotten a piece, but it still escaped the yard. What is Bellinger waiting on? All kinds of confusion going here. And now the umpires are coming together to discuss it. Dave Roberts is coming out of the dugout. I wonder if Cody crossed Justin Turner. If that happens, yep, the runner did. that does the passing is out. So yeah. Bellinger's going to be out. From that point, the play continues. Wow. In and out of his glove. And then Bellinger passes Turner on the bases. So Bellinger is going to be the second out of the inning. Turner will be wherever he wound up when the play ended. Marcelo Zuna up to the plate in the top of the 10th. Go ahead, run for the Braves. Ozzie Alves on third base. Marcelo Zuna hits a fly ball in the center. This is what happened. On the hands, looped out to center field. Roman Quinn comes in. Alves tanks at third. Quinn's got it. Alves is coming home. He hesitated for a moment to throw to the plate. He is. And the inning 
is over. How about the defense by the Phillies late in this game? And that is why he's the best catcher in baseball. The Phillies ended up walking that one off and won 3-2. to two. On to another walk off. The Milwaukee Brewers walked it off in the bottom of the 10th because it is going to be really easy to walk it off in the 10th inning. Because as if you didn't know, they're doing the second base in the extra innings again, where a runner starts at second base at, in any every single extra inning for both teams. So top of the 10th inning is where the game's going to change most of the season, would be my guess. This one, it did happen with the Milwaukee Brewers with an opening day walk-off by Orlando Arcia. And Arcia, big bouncing ball. Cage coming to the plate. It's glove to throw home. It's slide. He's safe. Ball game. The Brewers win. Oh, a thriller on opening day 2021. Arcia with a chopper. Boy, what a comeback here at American Family Field. What a start to the season. Pirates young star Key Brian Hayes hit this two-run home run to help beat the Cubs 5-3. to three. Field, the Pirates have a man on, and Key Brian Hayes drives one to deep left field, and Key Brian Hayes on opening day hits a two-run homer. How do you like this kid? He did that into that win that's blowing from left to right. Oh, baby, Key Brian Hayes, what a... Top start. of the 10th, Blue Jays-Yankees, Randall Gritchick up to the plate, hits an RBI double, and the Blue Jays close it out, beating the Yankees 3-2. to two. The speed of Davis, and with good reason, as Gritchick slashes the ball to right field, judge back, and it's over his head, and now it bounces back by and towards the infield. Davis is in to score. Grinchik is at second with an RBI double, and the Blue Jays have taken the lead. Young star for the Cardinals, Dylan Carlson. He is going to be good someday. I'm already calling it now. He hit this three-run home run to help the Cardinals crush the Reds 11-6. Next year in terms of fielding percentage, and that one is hit out to right. It's at the wall. Gone! It's a home run. Dylan Carlson. He's still a rookie and already making his impact felt again. Dylan Carlson, three-run bomb. Six-nothing in the first inning for St. Louis. Buster Posey's first at-bat of the 2021 season. His first at-bat since 2019, since he opted out in 2020. He did this in his first at-bat in 2021. Posey, who's hitting seventh. Those numbers from the 2019 season. Buster hits a high drive to left. It is out of here. Wow. Maybe he's not happy hitting seven. <laughs> well, he just got an RBI, knocked himself in. And it's 2 nothing. Well, they tried to go in a third time. They missed twice with fastballs on the inside corner. They tried to go back. Welcome back, Buster Posey. Hit that home run first at bat since 2019. I like it. Uh, it did not help the uh, Giants, though, because they still lost 8-7 to seven to the Mariners. Now on to our final highlight of the day. It is, of course, Mike Trout. This game-tying single helped the Angels beat the White Sox 4-3. to three. Hot shot down the line. And we're tied. Mike Trout does it again. And with a big-time reaction at first. I love that with Trout. He's all about getting this team to that next level. What a job he did here in the eighth inning. Ties it up with a rocket. Trout, he brings his hands in. This pitch is off the plate. In and rocketed by RBI single for Trout. He's feeding off the fans here at the Big A. And he's pumped. Gotta love Mike Trout's enthusiasm there. Now let's get to our MLB standing board. standings board. Here it is. Um, it, everyone's just 1-0, 0-1, 0-0. If you haven't played yet, you're 0-0. But <laughs> it doesn't really mean anything yet, but here you go. Here's your standings board. And then here is today's games. There's your starting pitchers. Really looking forward to Trevor Bauer's first start with the Dodgers and Blake Snell's first start with the Padres. But other than that, that is all I have for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Comment down below. If you want to see more of these, because I'm going to keep doing them, and comment down below if you liked it, what I could do better. 
if everything's fine. Make sure you hit that like button. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.